Welcome gun aficionados and enthusiasts. Today we're looking at a, another Smithy, a Smith & Wesson Beauty. It is a model 586, no dash, in nickel. Nickels are kind of rare. You see a lot of blue, but very rarely do you see a nickel. Look at that. This is a no dash. Little history on the 586. They were introduced in 1981. They ran till 1999 when they were discontinued. And then back in 2012, they were introduced with the as the classic series. Only in blue. You can't get the nickel. You can't get a new one. You can find a used one if you're lucky. It's not all beat up. Let me show you something that's very interesting. People don't notice. See that little gap right there? See how tight that is? That means it hasn't seen much action. You know? It hasn't been fired that much. Let me show you something else. Look at this. No play. That is tight as a freaking drum, baby. Look at that thing. It's got, you know, it's not perfect. It's got a little, tiny little chip right there. Somebody probably dinged it, hit it with something. And, you know, it's it, the finish is not perfect, but it's the original finish. And I've got these really nice Smith & Wesson. That's uh, Concola Alves Rosewood from South America. What's interesting about these is they're the double cutaway. Those are rare also. This one has the insignia on the right-hand side. The new ones have it on the left. It's got a case hardened hammer and trigger. See that? It's a smooth trigger. Smooth trigger. And of course the firing pin is on the hammer. It's got adjustable sights. It's got the red ramp front sight. And the action is just freaking awesome. Look at that. Hear that double click. First click is when the uh, cylinder st stop hits the cylinder. Second click is when it actually engages. Right now it's locked. Third click is the hammer. Right there. Oh, the action on this thing is just freaking awesome. Check it out. Staging. That's staging. Right there. Super clean. Nice big forcing cone. It's a fifty seven Magnum. Hair trigger with my pinky. I know you're not supposed to try fire these, but I'm going to do this just for you. 
Man, Smith & Wesson has got the best action. This is Smith & Wesson's answer to the Python. It's got the full underlug L frame, which is about the size of a Python. They have a different designation. There you go. Picture is worth a thousand words. Should get a rotisserie for it, huh? So we can spin it around. These grips, they're uh, they're in perfect condition, no scars. Well, okay, there's a tiny little mark right here, tiny little boo boo right there. Can't even notice it. And uh, they're beautiful grips. Huge, man. These things are big. You gotta have big hands to to hold this gun. You know, I mean, it's a handful. But it feels good. Man, I'll tell you what, Smith & Wesson has got the best freaking action in the world. Yeah, this is the Model 586 L-Frame, same as the 686. 686, of course, is stainless steel. They make those in all different sizes, and the 686 Plus, 7 shot. And they make the 586 in blue with the lock and the BIM parts, and you know, it's got the, the smaller, thin grips. Some people like those if you have smaller hands. These are kind of wide. 357 Magnum plus P, 38 Special. Take your pick. There was a recall on these, on the 586, 686, and 681s, and the Dash 1s. There were reports of cylinder binding with some types of standard 357 ammunition. So if, if it was manufactured before August of 87. So there was an issue with blowback. You know, so they, re they replace that right there. And I think they replaced the firing pin, if I'm not mistaken, or the hammer nose. And it's free. You can send it back to the factory, they'll have it back to you in, I don't know, maybe four weeks if you're lucky. Contact them and give them your email address, they'll send you a label. And you don't have to take it to an FFL, just drop it off at your FedEx and uh, they'll fix it for free. It's a recall. Smith & Wesson there top-notch every time I call customer service the people there are so friendly I've sent back uh, one time I sent in a model 13 to be reblued man it came back so nice I was so happy they even threw in a free pair of grips I sent it to them with no grips and they gave me a nice pair of magnet grips for free they didn't even charge me for it and I was really happy with their with their work their bluing is top notch, but they don't nickel anymore. Smith & Wesson stopped nickeling guns. I guess it's because of the, I don't know, the chemicals, whatever. And their formula is different now too. The uh, bluing formula they use today is different than what they used to use back in the day. But it still looks nice. I've got one of those new classics. I've got a, that's a 44 Special. I bought a brand new, it, and it's got that new blue, and it's, it's real nice. I have no problems with that. But anyway, this is the 586. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please like and subscribe and uh, take care of your guns.